Hello and welcome to a Theme Park Worldwide News Update. Now if you've watched our YouTube channel for a while, you'll know that we cover everything in the leisure industry. Of course from theme parks, but also from water parks and various other different tourist attractions. In this video I'm going to be sharing information about a brand new water park and wellbeing resort that's set to be built in Manchester and open within the next few years. This is set to be a £250 million project, so they're investing a lot of money in putting this together. And in this video, I'm going to sort of break it all down into sections. Firstly, talking about the location of this new water park. Uh, secondly, going into details about the plans and what we can expect from it. And then later on, I'm going to go into more detail about the company that's actually building this, sharing my thoughts on it, and looking at even more concept art as well. So it's very exciting, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, let's go straight in then to talk about this project that's currently known as Therm Manchester. Uh, now this company have actually built some other water parks, none here in the UK, this will be the first of theirs, uh, but they've built them in other countries and I'll be going more into detail about that later on in the video. Firstly then, let's talk about the location of this new water park and wellbeing centre. It's going to be located on the outskirts of Manchester city centre in an area known as Trafford Park. Uh, now the area is currently most famous for the Trafford Centre. Uh, that is a huge shopping complex that's got hundreds of different shops and the decoration in there is absolutely beautiful. I love the Trafford Centre, I visit there on a regular basis, it's about an hour away from where we are here at TPW HQ. Um, but yeah, like they've got so much there on offer. More more than just a shopping centre. Uh, we've got a Legoland Discovery Centre, you've got a Sea Life, there's mini golf courses both indoor and outdoors, there's a high ropes course, there's even an indoor ski slope um, all around Trafford Park. There's so much there, you've got accommodation, um, you've got various different restaurants and so much more. It's a beautiful place and I definitely recommend visiting. Uh, and the fact that they're going to build this right next door to the Trafford Centre uh, certainly means that it's in a fantastic location with already millions of people visiting there every year. In terms of the connections between other areas you've got thousands of free parking spaces at the Trafford Centre there's a regular bus service that connects there with the city centre of Manchester and starting in the next couple of weeks there'll actually be a Metrolink station at the Trafford Centre as well and not just one there there's also going to be one at Barton Square which is part of the centre uh, but it's also going to be right next door to where this water park is actually going to be built so they're really thinking about the connections and like I say that opens in the next couple of weeks so you know they're really putting Putting this all together and building up ready for this big new water park that's going to be opening so Let's go more into detail now about the plans of what we can expect from Therm Manchester. Uh, now the plans have now actually been confirmed um, by the council. Um, now last year we first saw all the plans for this and we were waiting to see if they were going to be accepted. Uh, they now have been, which of course means that work can now progress forward uh, on this and I expect to see some even more detailed plans soon. Uh, but there is a lot of concept art for this. And you might be thinking back at the start of the video, uh, 250 million pounds is a lot of money to spend on it. Well, look at this concept art because that is exactly what it's going to look like. Uh, what you can see there is a 28 acre site. That's actually the size of 19 football pitches. Um, and that's currently home to Event City, which is an indoor like conference and event space. They've done various different things there over the years. They actually did a Winter Wonderland event there um, over winter a few years ago. Uh, had various different rides and things in there. So it's a big space. Uh, and yes, that is going to go to make way for this new complex. However, that's going to be relocated to somewhere else in Trafford Park. And that's actually expected to close later on this year, ready for construction on the new complex to take place. Um, but yeah, huge site, 28 acres. Uh, now, it's actually been branded as the UK's first well-being resort. So uh, this isn't just going to be a standard water park. There's going to be like a spa and a water park and relaxation areas all combined into this one project. Uh, and I'm going to put some more concept in for you now so you can see these. So look at the structure of this. I think that's the, the thing that really stands out the most. It's that domed glass roof structure. Very modern, lots of natural light coming in um, all through the glass panels. Really like the look of that. And I think it will fit perfectly right next door to Barton Square um, because that's just had a, an expansion and that actually opens later this week. Um, and, and they've got like all sorts of new dome structure uh, roofing on that. So it'll fit in great right next door. 
the Trafford Centre is very glamorous anyway, uh, and it's got that sort of uh, Roman sort of architecture around, very grand, lots of statues and that sort of thing. Uh, and that's the theme what they're going to go for uh, with this new water park. You know, it's like a Romanesque style feel, but very tropical. You know, they wanted that Roman style spa, you know, where you're very relaxed and being very well looked after. That's what they're going for. So it all fits with the whole area of the Trafford Centre. But yeah, looking at the architecture of this, loving that domed roof structure uh, that we can see there. There's going to be various different zones uh, within Thurm Manchester. Firstly, let's talk about the family zone. This will probably be the most popular, I'd imagine. Uh, this is going to be pools both inside and outside as well. Um, I know a lot of people might be thinking, hang on, outside pools in Manchester? There's plenty of places in the UK what also do outdoor pools, and it's all about making sure they're heated properly uh, and they're really nice places. Centre Parks is one of those, for example. The pools are open until 9 o'clock every night outdoors, uh, no matter whether it's you know freezing cold, um, or nice and warm, you know, then pools are open uh, and of course the water is always at a nice temperature. So um, yes, it can be done here in the UK and there's already lots of places um, that do uh, outdoor pools all throughout the year here in our country already. And uh, the family zone will also feature a wave pool uh, that looks quite large from the concept art. Of course, this is only concept, um, so you know you can't go off it fully until we see like a proper overview plan of all the different pools and slides. But from the concept art, it looks really, really good. And the fact that, like I said earlier, um, there's already these operating in other countries by this company, uh, you know, and I've looked at some of their stuff, and yeah, you know, it seems like it'd be fantastic for the UK. It really does. And we'll go more into that again later on. Um, but yeah, along with that, there's going to be various different slides as well. Uh, on the plans, there's going to be a slide tower that's going to have a few different slides on offer. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, we might see a, a like a, a dome slide there, some sort of uh, bowl maybe, looking at the concept art, um, some sort of raft slide. You know, it looks like we're going to be seeing some pretty big uh, investments going into this uh, in terms of slides, which could be really exciting as well for the UK water park market. You know, it's not just going to be uh, pools, there's going to be these slides as well. There's going to be the palm tree relaxation area with various different plants and water features as well. So that sounds really exciting. Um, and along with that as well, there's going to be a no child section. So an area just for adults. Uh, and in there, you're going to have various different water lagoons, mineral bars, swim up bars, uh, you know, and all sorts of different steam rooms and saunas as well. So that's kind of where I was saying that a spa comes into it as well now. Um, so you're going to have this adult relaxation area. And doesn't that sound great? I mean, I love the idea of having pool bars. That's something we don't really do in this country, isn't it? So I think that'll be really nice. Uh, a lot of places abroad do it. Um, Rulantica, a huge new water park that opened at Europa Park in Germany last year uh, that we've well covered here on the channel. They've got an uh, indoor pool bar, and that is lovely. They've also got an outdoor one as well, which is great. Um, but yeah, that sounds a really nice idea. And the fact they're making it like adults only around there as well uh, is a really, really nice thing because it means you've got you know all your big family area but the adults are also catered for as well. So uh, I do really like the sound of that. Uh, there's also going to be various different health classes that are going to be taking place at the complex. Uh, things like yoga, uh, various other different health classes. So that's where it all sort of comes in now and that it's a well-being resort. There's going to be so much going on there, uh, all about being healthy, keeping fit, but also relaxation and some thrills as well with the slides and wave pools. So they're really putting it all together and I can see where they're coming from now. Like they say, they're saying it's the, the UK's first proper sort of well-being relaxation resort because of the size of it and the amount on offer there as well. Of course, we've got a lot of like spas in this country that go down really, really well. We've got a lot of water parks, but this is combining it all together in one big complex in a really good location as well. So I think it was certainly onto something very successful with this one. Uh, now, going away from the actual, uh, what there's going to be in terms of water attractions and pools, uh, there's also going to be various different restaurants as well as part of the complex. Uh, but likewise, you know, you're so close to Trafford Centre, literally you has a walk straight over the street and it's there, um, you know, connected. So it wouldn't even surprise me if they connect it even better, you know, than that. Maybe put a bridge into it or something like that, um, you know, with how many people are expected to come to this. Um, so yeah, it's in a brilliant location, but yeah, it's is going to have some restaurants and stuff within the complex there as well. 
Uh, now the resort aim, uh, what they've currently got out there, uh, is to bring together the tradition of an ancient Roman spa with an indoor tropical paradise. So that kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier about the Trafford Centre's Roman style theming and the fact that they want to put all these planting in and trees and make it a really nice tropical relaxing atmosphere. Uh, like I said, there's going to be a big sort of outdoor garden area uh, that I really like the sound of. Uh, going to be like in the shape of a rose. So you'll go out there and, and, and relax in, in between all these different buildings. In. So uh, I imagine that'll be really nice. Uh, in terms of how many people they're expecting to attract, I'd say they're being quite realistic with this for the location of it. Uh, they're saying they want to attract over 2 million people a year in a five year period. So they're not expecting the first year to have 2 million people. They're saying that after five years of it being open, they're expecting there to be an annual attendance of 2 million. I think that's very reasonable, especially for the location, how unique it is, and the fact it's so well connected and right next door to the Trafford Centre that gets millions and millions of visitors every year. In fact, it's one of the most visited attractions in the UK and they're building it right next door. Um, so yes, if all goes to plan, when will you be able to step into this new complex? 2023 is the current prediction. So not actually that long. Bear in mind, we're soon we're gonna be like halfway through 2020. We're looking in, in, in about three years until this is ready. Uh, like I say, construction is gonna start later this year. Event City set to close. Uh, I think it's around summertime to start work on that area uh, to relocate that. And once that's done, work will be starting on the site. And we'll definitely be doing updates here on theme part worldwide um, with this complex. That dome structure going up looks amazing. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Eden Project if you've ever been down Cornwall and been to that. Uh, but a very nice modern structure. I imagine it's going to be very environmentally friendly, solar panels and all that sort of stuff. I can just see it coming together as a really nice complex. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's certainly very exciting. My thoughts on it are I think it's going to be a really nice project um, and I'm all up for more investments in our tourism industry in the UK. You know, there really is so much demand for more attractions like this especially indoors so i think an indoor theme park is still going down well at some point in the country maybe around trafford center will be the area to do it in the future if this goes down well we may see a full indoor theme park who knows but um yeah this is very exciting who knows in terms of costs and everything at the moment about how much it's going to charge to go in um is there going to be sort of separate prices for different areas if you just want to pay for the family area and the wallet and the like the spa style area we don't really know any of that at the moment but I have been doing a bit of research about the other ones that they currently operate. There's four out there uh, at the moment. There's actually three in Germany. Of course, Germany love all their relaxation and well-being and spas and that sort of stuff. And one in Romania at the moment. But there's also plans for four more, including this one. Uh, also plans for one over in China, the USA. Uh, so they're really trying to expand their company all around the world. And that's like the firm group, they're called. Um, so yeah, it's very, very exciting, isn't it? The fact that it gives me hope knowing the fact that there's already some out there in Europe for operating and the fact that you know they want to build this one they've now got the permission for it it shows that the funding is there if you know what I mean with projects like the London Resort which is supposed to be this big theme park opening in like the next few years you know the, the funding doesn't seem to be there and you know they don't own anything else with this company they already own these out there they look fantastic and um, yeah in fact here's a couple of images of those like just a quick rolling through of those ones that currently operate you can see the designs there you can see where our concept art for the one in the UK has been inspired from but um, uh, there you go. That's all we know so far at the moment. 2023, 250 million pound Woods Park and Wellbeing Resort and located right next door to the Trafford Centre here in the United Kingdom. So very exciting. Let me know your thoughts on this new development. Uh, of course, we're going to be talking more about it in the future uh, if we get some more plans, more details on the slides and pools. Of course, I'll be keeping you guys up to date. And of course, uh, stay tuned here to Theme Park Worldwide in this playlist for all the latest theme park news. Uh, I'm Sean Sam. Brooke, thanks for watching Theme Park Worldwide, and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you in the next video.